Welcome back to Excel VBA tutorial series. In our today's chapter, I will demonstrate how can we use the count if formula using Excel VBA. As a part of our demonstration today, what we are looking at is to find out um, how many times a person's name has been repeated in this list. Um, so basically it's a list of defaulters we want to know how many times has an individual defaulted for whatsoever reason so if our requirement is something as simple as this rather than having to run a loop you may you might as well use something as simple as the count if function using excel vba so let me jump down to the developers tab and visual basic to get started so i will create a new sub called um, count if defaulters now in order to um, get what we're looking for a user will be sitting in range D5 wherein the number that we are looking at is something that we want in range E5 so we will say range E5 dot formula equal to application dot worksheet function count if now in count if the first argument will be the range so we will say range A to B the second argument is nothing but the value or the criteria that you'd like to count which will be range D5 dot value as this will be the one we'll be using as part to identify how many times the person's name has been repeated we will now go and assign this macro that we've just created to this button now let's assume I want, I want to find out how many times have we got Henry in this entire list. So if my requirement is something as simple as this, why should I, why should I write a loop when I can get it so fast using the counter function? So let me just click on this button and as we can see this button says that um, Henry is repeated three times in the entire list. Let us try filtering the list and yes that is exactly the way it's supposed to be so let's say how many times has the name Jayesh been repeated in this list let's try again and it says it has been repeated nine times so let us quickly filter and take account of this and it comes down to nine so guys this is how pretty much we could make the use of the counter function using Excel VBA it's extremely helpful it's all about how you use the function and what are your requirements and you can make it as simple as this so thanks for watching guys and please stay tuned for more videos.